We are in Windows Server 10. I'm going to show you how to create a security group. A security group allows us to assign uh, various different permissions to folders in our computer. So if we wanted to, for instance, we could create a new folder and we'll just call it test one. And when we right click on it and choose properties, we go to the security tab and here is where we can add a security group instead of just adding users one at a time. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's right click anywhere in Active Directory Users and Computers and we will choose New and we will choose Group. Alright, so our group name is going to be Test Group. And we're going to leave it as a global security group. You can also make it domain. You can make it universal. And uh, the, the difference is universal is going to cover however many forests that you have. If you have multiple forests in your, uh, your network, global uh, handles all the domains in a single forest. And the domain local hand handles the uh, just the local domain that you're currently logged into. So the default is going to be global, so we'll just go ahead and stick with that. And we want to make it a security type of group. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Now, once we have created the group, we can double click on it. And we can add members. So we can go to members and we can click add. And we just created a uh, test user earlier. So let's go ahead and click test check name and we're going to double click on the test name click OK and apply now if we go back to our test user we can see if that actually worked let's double click on our test user go up to the member of tab and now we can see we are a member of the test group so if we wanted to apply that to a folder to get access to a particular resource then we right click on our test one folder go to properties and we go to security and edit and then we're going to add and we type in test group check names click OK give whatever rights you want to those uh, particular resources click OK again now, anyone who gets added to the test group will have access to the test one folder without having to go into each and every individual folder and add those people.